Hey everyone, today we're going to be making a pair of rings out of Inconel. And if you didn't know, Inconel is a super alloy. It's got some really amazing properties. They use it in jet turbines, turbochargers, and even on the space shuttle, some of the components were made out of Inconel. So it's a really special material. It's able to retain its strength up to really extreme temperatures. It's extremely corrosion resistance. And an added benefit that's good for rings is its scratch resistance. Now the story behind this is we had a customer reach out he wanted a matching set of bands for himself and his wife. So that's what we're going to be making out of it today. Also, just a side note, my videographer who I usually film with is sick. So I'm gonna be manning the camera for a lot of this video and Noah, one of my head ring makers, is going to be doing a lot of the making. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, as I do with almost every ring that's made from round bar, I need to cut off a slice for a ring blank. So I'll go ahead and do that with my metal bandsaw. And remember, we're making two rings here, so I'm just gonna cut off two blanks. As I'm working, I'm being very careful not to work harden in Connell. If you don't know what work hardening is, it's when you work with or overheat a material too much that it starts to actually harden as you work with it. So you wanna be very careful to avoid that because it kind of spirals out of control. If it starts hardening, it gets harder to work with. So then your materials, instead of cutting, they start rubbing and that causes it to harden even more and more. And so it's just a really bad thing and you wanna avoid it. So actually this, these rings took a very long time to make, but I decided to cut out a lot of the footage. We're doing two rings here and we're doing a lot of steps to them and each and every step was a little bit tedious. We're using a lot of different size drill bits and things like that. So in the interest of time, we did cut out a good bit of footage, but these rings actually were a lot trickier to make than it actually seems. Now over on the lathe, I'm just sizing them up. We're getting them about a millimeter or two under the final size that they'll be. This will get them fitting on our expanding ring mandrels. And we're ready to machine the outer profile to the ring. We'll take care of the final sizing of the inside at the very end. One of these rings is going to be wider at eight millimeters. That's gonna be for the husband. And the second one for the wife is going to be thinner at six millimeters. So I need to go ahead and trim them down to about the correct outer diameter that we're going to be left with. And then I also need to trim the edges so that we get that final width that we want. As you'll notice, Noah's replacing his bit very frequently throughout the ring making process. We're making sure that we've got really nice sharp materials that we're working with. And if you see on these up close shots, when we remove material, we try to get really nice shavings coming off. We want it to do a clean cut. That way we can avoid as much work hardening as possible. Now both of these rings we're eventually going to put a bevel on, but first I like to get the ring to its final outer diameter 
and then I like to use all my grits of sandpaper and get it to its final polish just on the outer diameter on the flat raised section. Then I take it over to the buffing wheel and I give it a really very thorough polish. The reason I do this is because I haven't cut the bevels onto it yet. That way I won't round them over because I like my bevels to be as crisp and sharp as possible. Obviously not to the point where it's ever going to be uncomfortable, but just crisp enough that they look really nice and professional. After this very thorough polish, we take it back over to the lathe, we set the bit at the desired angle, and we go ahead and carefully add the bevels, trying to avoid chatter as much as possible. Now that's pretty much it for the outside. I'll do a little bit of final polishing later on, but for now, let's go ahead and switch over to the inside. We're gonna take care of the final sizing as well as adding a comfort finish to the ring. These are both looking great. We're ready to go ahead and give these a final polish. There you have it, two beautiful matching and Connell wedding rings. I could not be happier with the way these two turned out. They just look so clean and nicely made. This was a wonderful project. And I'm really excited for the customer that ordered them. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you guys, the viewers, for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me. If you have any questions or feedback, anything at all, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'll try my very best to get back to you. Also, if you're interested in having your own custom ring made for you in a video just like this, we'll have a link to the sign up form down in the description. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. As always, I wanna invite you to head over to my Instagram and follow me there. I've always got a lot going on there. I have discounts, giveaways, and just a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So link for that in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.